So now I finished the arm and I think uh, before I start on the face I'm going to do the hair or at least rough the hair out. Right so I've, uh, I've roughed out the shape of the hair and I've cut away the block at the bottom where it was screwed to the clamp. Uh, I've now had to make new arrangements to hold the carving so I've uh, made this block which I've shaped to the curve of the the ball that fits in the back. I screwed that into the back of the buttocks. <clears throat> now before I do the hair I'm going to get the basic shape of the face in. Um, they're in this sort of peculiar position and with the hand there and everything it's rather difficult so I've made uh, a template of a prof profile of face and I started by um, carving the face to fit that profile. Um, it's not perfect but uh, it's just giving um, a, a starting point. I'm now going to move around the side here and around the side there and get the ear in there and get that basic shape and then move on to the hair. Now I've roughed out the shape of the face and I'm now moving down to the hair and um, you know the hair is hanging sh down from the head um, vertically as it were um, it's really a kind of very open thing to do I mean the, let's face it the hair could be very straight hair it would just hang down like a curtain I don't want it to hang like a curtain I want a bit of uh, waviness and a movement in it so uh, I'm not working to any very tight plan, really letting the chisel go where it wants to, to get the flow. Um, what I'm looking for is to get uh, high points and low points, so that there's a, a uh, three-dimensional movement in the hair. It's wavy and it, um, and it goes in and out. So, this is the first stage in carving the hair. Uh, using this um, number 11, quarter of an inch, quarter inch number 11 gouge, U-shaped gouge, uh, which dig deep grooves here. See, we've got very deep hollows, um, lots of movement, waves. Um, I'll now go over it now with, with a smaller number 11 gouge uh, and get all these little cuts into long flowing cuts which is um, is what people find difficult. The initial deep cuts are then rounded off with 150 grit sandpaper uh, to form these smooth uh, flowing locks. Um, the, um, the cuts in the hollows are then um, cleaned up, enhanced if you like, with the small number 11 gouge to produce clean flowing cuts in the corners. And this isn't always easy. So um, it's very useful to have one of these, which is a diamond file. Very uh, cheap now, thanks to our Asian friends. And you could then use this to run along the grooves get rid of any um, little sort of chippy marks round out curves in the difficult parts you may also if you cut really deep um, need to get hold of a um, spoon bent gouge like this one to get into these deeper corners when you've 
finish these smaller cuts you can then go on to even smaller ones or smaller still if you wish um, and then just soften the finish with um, fine paper 240 grit not to get rid of the cuts but just to uh, just to soften them slightly so the hair's more or less finished for now although um, it will need considerable amount of work of fine sanding and uh, using one of these uh, a diamond riffler file to uh, to clean up rough areas it's a long job <laughs>